Thank you for stopping by. We are Iowa.com. I'm Chris Kubal. Here's a look at your forecast. Some rain in play for Tuesday evening and night. Most of this overnight while well, we sleep. A second surge of moisture coming in to catch up with these showers in western Iowa. You see here, 10 o'clock, getting into western Iowa across the Missouri, pushing eastward at the time. As this happens, this band is going to tend to weaken with time, meaning more scattered in nature. And some may miss out, especially if you're east of I-35. Best prospects for rain will line up west of the interstate into western Iowa. That's it for rain chances. You do see the effects of this band of rain and cold front. Cooler temperatures for Wednesday. And even though we're dialing back some 8, 10 degrees, it will still feel mighty nice into the 70s. Still a breezy wind out of the south and west. Let's talk those rain numbers. You do see those numbers quarter, half of an inch in western Iowa. Less or so as you move eastward and eventually into eastern Iowa, this band should fizzle out completely. Futurecast brings a secondary cold front through on Thursday night. A couple of isolated showers on Friday too popping up during the day, but the second cold front will be more termed with um, a big cool down associated with it. Check out those high temperatures Friday and Saturday will be confined, confined to the 50s and plenty of uh, clouds in the way too. Now looking past that heat, a big cool down is on the way as we get into weekend. That next little surge of cooler air is overhead and we have that uh, signal for fall with a sharp drop in those temperatures. In fact, we'll be close to frosty territory on Saturday morning and Sunday morning. North and West has the best opportunity. I would say the scope is a little bit wider for everyone on Sunday morning. So frost being possible here for the first time in the year, perhaps a touch earlier than normal, but not too far off all things considering. Look at those temperatures into the upper 30s and low 40s initially on Saturday morning. I do think things are slightly cooler getting into Sunday morning. Better potential there for frost overall. 63 is our overnight low for tonight on Wednesday, 78 degrees. And still that's not bad, but we are trending downwards. Big burst of cold in here for Friday, Saturday going into Sunday morning, but we'll try to turn things around. Some moderation in the works for next week. Not much for rain opportunities in that stretch, but mild air is yet to give up completely.